Well, the second man charged in the brutal home invasion murder of a Mount Vernon mother says he did it. Christopher Gribble admitted to every single charge today in court, but is using an insanity defense to try to avoid the life sentence that Steven Spader was given after his conviction. WMUR's Amy Kavina was in court for today's proceedings and has more on how Gribble's trial will be very different. Is Christopher Gribble taking a gamble, trying to avoid a life sentence, or was he really insane when he used a knife to stab Kimberly and Jamie Cates dozens of times? That's what a jury will be asked to decide in February, when Gribble's sanity trial gets underway. And today, his defense team's first move after his plea was to try to get his confession thrown out. Two hearings Monday for now confessed killer Christopher Gribble. Judge Jillian Abramson took nearly an hour to question Gribble, making sure he was 100% clear on the ramifications of admitting to murder and attempted murder, among other charges. Gribble uttered these words six times for every charge. Not guilty by reason of insanity. Defense team's first move after his admission of guilt was to try to get his taped confession thrown out. Many wonder, why squash the confession of a confessed murderer? Less evidence is best for any defendant. So if you can exclude a confession uh, on constitutional grounds, then that's why they would do it. Judge Abramson will issue her decision on the confession in a court ruling. In court Monday, Gribble was attentive and exchanged notes often with his attorneys, while the sergeant who took his confession testified about Gribble's demeanor at the time. He was very talkative. He was uh, cooperative, and it was almost... Uh, he seemed to me like he totally let his God down. Gribble's sanity trial will focus less on what he's already admitted to doing and more on his state of mind. The jury will hear from psychologists, but Mark Stevens says an insanity defense is a long shot. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Very, very small percentage of cases are successful in, in the insanity defense. Gribble told the court he's been diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder and was prescribed Prozac but stopped taking it in 2007. The state vehemently disagrees with Gribble's insanity claim, but now the burden of proof shifts to Gribble's team. The jury will have to make a unanimous decision on Gribble's sanity, but there is a lower standard of proof in a sanity trial versus a criminal trial. The evidence has to be clear and convincing, not beyond a reasonable doubt. Jury selection begins February 9th. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9. Now the state's last.